Hello, loyal viewers, fans, and uh, fellow inmates in our asylum. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you may or may not know, I'm sure all of you do, we recently had the uh, luxury of attending the um, premiere of uh, Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness. Madness, I say, madness. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and this uh, is as in keeping with our traditions and trends, this is going to be... The Asylum Pod's spoiler-free mm. um, review and thoughts on the movie. Um, I think, as always, let's let's give our special shout-outs and thanks. Right, so iconic. Yeah, definitely. It was awesome. It was, I think, their biggest event to date. Definitely. I mean, we're in that. I don't even know. I can't remember the name. El Grande. The El Grande yeah. Cinema. Um, some COVID restrictions still in place. I think we had three hundred capped, mm. and I, I think. Every seat that was available was full. Um, in traditional or awesome, iconic uh, sort of sort of style and tradition, we had uh, a few cosplayers. Yeah, and actually quite a lot this time. I yeah, say, yeah, 100%. So some folks who really got into the spirit of things, came dressed to the part, either looking like some amazing like recreations of the Scarlet Witch, mm. um, uh, one or two brilliant renditions of, of Doctor Strange himself. Um, a shout out goes to, who was it that won the, the cosplay competition? Oh, Toonie Bug. Toonie Bug. Um, she looked amazing, uh, that costume over there. And then we also had a, yeah. And yeah, I was going to, I don't know if you were going to say, but we had an honorable mention. We had like a marriage proposal. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Nice. Um, have a look at, at uh, our Instagrams and stuff like that. I think we've been tagged and or shared those um, particular, yeah. well, that particular event. I mean, wow. it was unexpected from my side. Mm. Um, I think Michelle from Iconic Brand, she knew about it because obviously that guy had pre-arranged or engaged with her to just have a few minutes of, of mic time <laughs> to do it. Um, yeah, so, so, the, so, so sweet, came down, confessed his love for her. I mean... It's one thing, I think, to propose, you know all about that, but <laughs> to do it in front of like 300... Strangers. Yeah, totally. Dr. Strangers. <laughs> <laughs> I went there. <laughs> to do that in front of 300 strangers, that that, that takes some doing, and that that's, mm. that's love. <laughs> yeah, no. That's awesome. commitment. <laughs> well done, dude. It yeah. was epic. 100% really made the whole thing uh, a little bit extra special. Mm. Um, so, yeah, a, a great event. We've got some uh, Funkos over here. I don't know if the viewers can see. Yeah, you can too. Um, that were given to us is in, in our goodie bags. Um, I love it. Uh, the goodie bag just had some cool snacks in there. Over and above the snacks we got, the burgers we got from Rocker yeah. Mama's. Uh, shout out to them too. Shout out to the theaters. Um, yeah, just just. All those cool things and cool people. And as the weeks go, we'll be uploading images, videos, tagging as best we can just to keep that, that memory alive, I suppose yeah, you could say. Definitely. Um, but let's move on to the movie itself. What was your initial thoughts or, or... Okay, so initial thoughts. Um off the top of my head, it was a cool movie. It there was certain things that bugged me, and I know this is a spoiler free one, so mm. I've got to try and like keep everything in check but mm, mm. off the bat like i didn't want to mention it but there there was there did seem to be a little bit of an uh, uh like an error in our cinema You're right um, yeah yeah the the audio was and i ignored it at first because i'm i'm an audio fanatic and then yeah. when you and kira picked it up i was kind of like and there was so just to give you guys a, a it was a little bit i think it was a sense of channel there were certain dialogue things that were just really mm. soft yeah um, or even un inaudible yeah. at certain points because of the surrounding explosions or whatever was going on. Yeah. yeah. So that was a little bit of a distraction, but I mean, that's got nothing to do with the film. Mm. Um, mm. It other, was an experience yeah. thing, not the film. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, I know they went for something different and the horror aspect I loved. The Sam Raimi stuff, director mm. stuff, um, Scarlet Witch was freaky in certain parts, like mm. more than I thought they were going to go. Yeah. Like, now it's, this is a little bit spoiler, but for someone who hasn't watched it, won't know but there's a part where she's looking and she comes out the mirror and it's like yeah. so exorcist <laughs> like it's like whoa um 
some of the visual effects, which I'll get into in our spoiler video, bugged me. I thought they could have been done better in this day and age. Okay. Um, not any of the superpowers, it's mm -hmm. other stuff. Um, the pacing to me was weird, like how they jumped straight into, like, you know, the beginning is bang. Like, mm -hmm. I, I like movies to ease me and, like, you know, take me to dinner first. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. I, I don't know, like... Um, and and I know that's just a creative choice. Um, sure. The score was awesome. Um, the music was was really good. Um, Danny Elfman made Always Night Before Christmas and all sorts of things. And there's that one specific scene where they, like, with yeah, um, yeah. Again, jumping to spoiler, but um, yeah. So overall, man, I liked it, but there were definitely certain things that I feel that they like just did to for the sake of pushing the movie forward. Where mm -hmm. and again, it's so hard, dude. Not hmm. spoiling, but. Um, but Joel, what did you think? Like uh, overall, I also enjoyed it. I liked. I was surprised by the. Yeah, Sam Raimi's done some. He did the original Spider Man, mm. and those were not horrified at all. Yeah, horrified if you want. But I liked it. I liked the the horror angle, the the, the him going back to his horror type roots, etc. Mm. Um, Was it Evil Dead or Evil Dead? Dead yeah. yeah, and. Um, this follow-up, the sequel, I forget what that one was called, or both with Bruce Campbell in it. Yeah. Um, I like that cameo. There was some cool cameos in there. Um, definite fanfare yeah, and yeah, fan yeah. service to to all the Marvel fans out there. Some that we suspected based on the trailers we'd seen mm. um, and voices we heard in the trailer and stuff. So that was awesome. And then one or two that I did not see coming in and, and I lost my shit. I was like, <laughs> oh, my. Um, so that really, I, I dug, um, it's a difficult one because one of my initial thoughts is when you're doing a movie about multiverses, I thought there'd be more to that. I thought there'd mm. be more glimpses, visual things of like, as an example, um, show us 50 different Iron Man's mm. as an example, or give us glimpses at multiple different Doctor Strangers and or Scarlet Witches in different things. They do it, but they I thought they could have the scale could have been much yeah. more grand and, and bigger. Um on that kind of thing. I mean, I cast my mind to something like the original Infinity War, where, you know, it's it's Adam Warlock's normal side, Adam Warlock's evil side, and the evil side creates doppelgangers of everybody. Mm. And yeah, just the way they did that was so cool. Um multiple different versions or incantations of oneself. If I look at DC's Crisis of Infinite Earths, multiple different Supermans, Flashes, yeah. etc., all coming together to save these multiverses and universes and things of that nature. So, I, yeah, um, you know, it, it was a movie that I think needed an Avengers-level budget, but probably mm. didn't have it. Um, but saying that, I, I, I loved it. I walked out of there... I didn't have so many high expectations. So if anything, a lot of my expectations were met and exceeded in certain mm. areas. Um, one thing I can say is, you know, I brought Tammy with and Tammy hadn't seen the first Doctor Strange. Tammy hadn't seen the last Avengers films and stuff. So for someone coming in who has no exposure to it, you can't do that. You, you're going to be lost. You need, yeah. to, you need to have seen the origin story of Doctor Strange and you need to at least have visibility maybe not spider-man no way home but definitely the avengers films mm -hmm. to see what he went through and how integral he was in those films too yeah. what i would highly encourage is that um best case scenario that you you watch doctor strange one you make sure you watch the new spider-man and you watch wonder vision definitely the yeah. reason i bring that up is even in that film dude when you know, it shows certain motivations of his, and I don't mm. want to give too much away in the way she's feeling. Even I kind of forgot. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, she had to basically kill Vision. <laughs> and that's pretty hardcore. Um, yeah. And then watch it get all rewinded in front of her and realize it was for nothing. Uh, correct, yeah. Um, Thank you, Thanos. <laughs> yeah, you know, so there is those things where it's like you kind of, like, forget, like, yeah. all the stuff she's been through. Like, mm. um, and, and also the... You know the the series that she had does drive that in also, and it's that's why. Funny enough, it's one of the critics I oh, was wrong word, but anyway, like that I have of the the. It feels like it's 
Wonder Vision, like episode 11, 12, and 13, kind of shoved into a movie more mm. than like actually a Doctor Strange movie. But it, at the same time, it is. It's confusing for me. But yeah. But again, I still, dude, I had fun. Again, like the fan moments that you talked about were like awesome. Mm. Um, again, it did leave me thinking about certain other things and that, um, which we'll get into spoiler videos. But overall, it was fun. I, I love that Marvel are willing to go as dark as they were, yeah. but it's still keeping it. It's, it's a hard balance, dude, to go yeah. that dark and still keep it like in their little Disney franchise. Sure. Like yeah. kid and adult friendly, like parent friendly and all that. Agreed. I uh, totally agree. It was, I liked it. It was exciting. It was fun. It was dark yet accessible. So not not too, too hor horrific and gory and all that stuff, but more than any other movie that's come before it. Um, I loved it. I loved the experience. I loved, yeah, definitely I will rewatch it again. Mm. Um, but f for me still the only caveat is it's not something that you can go into oh, yeah, raw. You, you need to almost brush up and do some of your homework or previewing to take this on which even america chavez is like alone it's like it's kind of the first time we've yeah. really been in and, and i must say like her and um what's his name dr strange their chemistry mm. was really cool yeah, agreed it's, yeah. it's a testament to what a good actor he is i'm not saying she isn't but i'm just no, saying no, sure. they like they yeah, yeah. both really good together but again like so already you're like okay well i need to figure out who this is and see her motivation so you've mm. got like you said, you've got to have everything behind you as just a given. Yeah. So. so for me, it's it's a comic book fan, comic geeks movie more than a, the, the general public. Every person can come and watch this. You need mm -hmm. to have, for, it's the first Marvel movie that I can say that you really do need to have some prior viewing to it. Yeah, that's true. And, and last, one thing I will say is, mm even though you need all that back stuff i think what you said is actually such a good point where it feels smaller than it could have been and i think it's because they're realizing how complicated the multiverse is sure. but they need to simplify it yeah in like disney aspects yeah. so i think that is a part of why they made it smaller mm -hmm. i mean disney have so much money so I, I don't see why but you never know you never know for sure so if you had to give it do we do our ratings now or in the spoiler movie no, I think let's do both. Good. Yeah, um, uh, we might change it in the other movie after we unpack it. I further. do want to say that though, like our five rating makes things really difficult. Like if it was okay. out of ten, like you can be more specific, but I don't know if that's a blessing or a curse. So like, <laughs> but anyway, go for it. How many eyes of Agamotto would you give it? <laughs> hmm. I'm going to say four. I'm I'm with you. I'm also on four. 100%, yeah. Yeah, because the, the, the things I don't like, I can't overlook. So. Agreed, for sure. So it doesn't ruin it or whelm me. It, I'm still, I'm like super excited, super mm. hyped about it. But it doesn't get a five for me because it's lacking. It doesn't even get a four and a half for me. Yeah. Because there are one or two things that, that I feel they could have done. So yeah, four. So definitely get out there and watch this movie. Do your homework.